although we had a loving home, I, uh, you know, they couldn't help me with my homework. They, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't, there wasn't a lot of conversation at times between myself and my parents. Jim was, and is to the extent today, I mean, he was a very shy guy, um, was not outgoing at all. Uh, I think was, it was kind of painful for him to talk to people. He's never been flashy or colorful, but he was very shy and, and really didn't, you know, have a lot of superfluous things to say uh, to anybody. No, I've always been a quiet kid, you know, uh, very, too, very much to myself. Uh, and it was very difficult for me initially at Stanford. Back then, they didn't give full athletic scholarships, so you had to hash, uh, which means to help the cooks out in you know, uh, one of the houses or fraternities or, or work in the athletic department doing some things for them, uh, which is what I did mostly. He didn't have, as far as I knew, any money when he came to Stanford. We came to a school at that time that was a school with a lot of wealthy students. Once I got here, I felt a little uncomfortable. You know, I just, uh, uh, it was tough for me. I was literally the fourth string quarterback that very first game. Football wasn't going well for me. You know, classes were difficult. I didn't have a car, you know, and I had difficulty with transportation. Uh, and then the next year I was redshirted. There was talk of moving me from quarterback to uh, defensive end, which I wanted no part of. It was a struggle for me at Stanford initially. I think he thought at that time I'm a sophomore in college, I'd be playing on the varsity football team. And it wasn't. So the one thing that I think it probably at that point in life it made him feel good about himself, which was his performance on the football field, wasn't working out very well. I was pretty depressed, pretty down. Uh, you know, there are things I wanted to do, and I wasn't getting my chance to do them. Uh, but I continued to work hard, uh, which was you know how I was raised. I was looking for something to cling to, to be a part of. It was a mixed house uh, as far as race goes. I felt very comfortable there. It was a place, if you had a, a thin skin uh, and any you know, fear of vulnerability, you, you weren't gonna survive uh, in the Delt House. Nobody was paid any reverence. You know, even Jim at the, at the height of you know, having won the Heisman and everything else. Didn't matter to anybody in the Delt House. They gave me a hard time and you had to learn to fight back a little bit and give them a hard time back. That strengthened my character and made me aware that, that meant that, you know, they actually liked you. And I think that was good. I think that probably helped set the table for when Jim kind of did take this, this grand national stage and be out there and be front and center with the public. The time in the Delft House, uh, I think, probably helped in, in preparing him for that, although, you know, he didn't realize it at the time. It kind of made my life a lot easier. Uh, friends I could rely on, talk to, uh, uh, share uh, some of the, you know, the hard times that I had experienced. And they probably don't know how much they meant to me to be a member there. It meant a lot, and uh, you know, I'm very thankful for that. Where he came from in the beginning, without friends and filling out a place and not doing well in football, not doing, having some question whether he could achieve what he wanted to academically. You know, four years later, he'd done all that and done it as, as well as anyone could do it. Play fake. Back is Plunkett. Time to throw. Deep to the end zone to Branch. It is caught by Branch. Touchdown Raiders. Holy Toledo. It's an enormous accomplishment. Part of that, I think, was built on his experiences at Stanford. He learned something about his, his ability uh, to come back. I mean, he started here not in a very good position. He then achieved the highest award in college football. He learned from his first experience that he had that kind of ability to come back and try again. You know, and he did. You go out there and you work real hard and you try to motivate each other out there to do your best.
It started before that, it, you know, it continued with uh, these guys here at Stanford and uh, on into the NFL. It carried me a long way.